President Gengop, while making the announcement, said restrictions in the Erongo region is to balance the need to protect lives and to safeguard livelihoods. The Erongo region's specific response include travel between towns, increased public gatherings to 50 persons, with the exception of Valfas Bay, Swakopmund and Aranda's local authority areas, where the gatherings are restricted to 10 persons. Essential services can continue to operate, including truckers, who transport goods in and out of the region. Essential services providers, as defined in the regulations, and truck drivers will be permitted to travel into and out of the region on the basis of an authorized permit. To avoid local truck drivers mixing with cross-border truck drivers, the Ministry of Urban and Rural Development, in conjunction with the Ministry of Health and Social Services, are directed to identify separate truck ports and parking areas at Wolfis Bay, Swakopmund, and Aranda's local authority areas. Local truck drivers are to be escorted by law enforcement officials to and from their respective delivery destinations. 24 out of the 28 newly confirmed COVID-19 cases are from the Erongo region, but government remains at crossroads not to stifle economic growth. It is, however, intensifying testing and tracing of contacts. On the concerns of school resumptions, the president stressed that those schools with grades 11 and 12 that meet the COVID-19 health protocols may resume face-to-face -face teaching. This provision, however, is not applicable to Valfas Bay, Swakopmund and Aranda's local authority areas. For Wolfis Bay, Swakopmund and Aranda's local authority areas, the resumption of grades 11 to 12 and pre-primary -prim grades 0 to 3 remains suspended for the next 14 days. Face-to-face -face instruction will be determined pending observation of the unfolding situation in those two towns, those three towns. Six vulnerable persons in categories as defined will be permitted to work from home at the Erongo region subject to authorization issued by the employer and upon presentation of valid medical certificate. The head of state also called for the adherence of preventative measures aimed at curbing the spread of COVID-19, such as wearing of face masks, washing of hands and practicing of social distancing. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.